Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's summer right now so I've got a lot of free time. I'm making a lot of videos as often as I can. I do have to keep it quiet occasionally because I have I do live with my mother and my sister and don't want them to be whining about what I'm creating, but it's fine. I'm going to be talking about some people that inspire me, some people that I enjoy watching their YouTube videos, some people whose um, blogs I follow, Instagram accounts, um, people who I interact with, just general good people that I that inspire me as a person. Um, now I'm not going to list every single person that I am subscribed to on YouTube because that would be way too many, um, especially way too many witchy people, but um, these are just the people that I watch most regularly um, because I, as I said I am subscribed to a lot of witchy people so I can't watch every single video of every single person all the time. There are a lot of people that I am subscribed to and that do inspire me that I won't mention simply because I am not familiar enough with their channel to give them like, a sh not like a shout out, but like to say something about it. Um, like there are people like Kelden and Lord Night Raven and uh, a couple of other people. I am subscribed to, but um, I, like I said, I don't know their channel well enough. Um, Bria Slater, Madame Luna, Madame Nightshade. Um, those are just to name a few that I will not be mentioning on this list because, again, I am not familiar with their channels, at least not familiar enough to give them a proper saying. I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet. But it probably will end up being long because the last video I made was about 25 minutes. Sorry about that. I have a lot to say. And if you are watching and you hear your name on this list, do not feel pressured to comment. Um, like an, oh, thank you, because like, I don't care. I'm just saying right now because I said in my 17 witchy questions video that I was going to make an entire video based on people who inspire me. So that's just what this is. You don't, it's not anything too, too serious. And by the way, this is in no particular order, I'm just saying things, people's names, as they come to my list. Uh, it's not like in favorites or when I started watching or whatever, it's no order. It's just names, people, just because. Okay. So the first person that came to my mind when I was creating this list is Joey Morris. Now, again, this is in no particular order, but Joey Morris is one of the channels that had a- there are so many, but she's one of the channels that inspired me to make a YouTube channel to share my content, to share my experience. Um, her content on her channel, if you don't know who she is, which you probably should know who she is, um, she's on so many different people's um, platforms, but she- her channel is focused on her relationship with the Morrigan. She has a interview and chat series on Deity called Views with Verse. She has a blog and an online store called Starry Eyed Supplies. Um, she, fantastic YouTuber, great content. Even though some of her videos are quite long, I am constantly engaged and enthralled, to be quite honest. Um, I thoroughly enjoy viewing her content and Every time she uploads a new video, I get really excited, especially when it's Morrigan-centric, which is very, very often. Um, she does do videos on other deities. If you are looking to get acquainted with a certain deity, she probably has a video on it and a spell set and chatted with somebody else about it. She's She's got everything on her channel. She's very versatile in that sense. and. She's also very funny. If you see her live chats with Chris Ashburn, another YouTuber that I'm going to mention in a minute, um, it's always full of laughs, even if it's like a serious topic, it's oh, there's always that moment of joy. So 10 out of 10 recommend Joey Morris, um, located in UK, wonderful accent of course, um, but yeah, 
Uh, next on my list is someone from Down Under. It's um, Alvine Green. Alvine Green is somebody that I was just turned on to um, when another YouTuber, Raven Flower, did a 24-hour witchy chat. Um, that was when I first saw Alvine Green's channel, and I must say, I was instantly like, who is this? I need to go find their channel and look at their information and see what they post. Um, her channel is her channel is completely her journey. It's you can see the phases she goes through and like how her path progresses on her channel, which is something that I really enjoy when I watch other people's videos. Um, she has all kinds of great crazy content. It's literally all across the spectrum. I can't pinpoint just one. Um, recently she's been going on trips with another YouTuber that I'm going to mention called named Crimson Fire. Um, but yeah, just a really... the type of energy that she exudes is very uh, poppy and positive and upbeat, which is always a plus. Next on my list is I believe the very first person that I ever watched on YouTube ever that had to do with um, witchcraft is Eclectic Spirituality, Witchcraft Wicca, or Lady Leanna um, of Shadow Insights Productions. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's recently been, been getting a l really into live chats, which I really enjoy, and I can never catch them on time for some reason. They're just always like right, they're ending as soon as I get there. But um, one day, one day I will make it. But um, her channel is like, it's fantastic. It covers all the topics. She tries to educate you best she can based on her experience, and she has had a lot of experience in the on this path. Um, she, oh my goodness, she has um, basic rituals. She has conversations on deity, she has live chats about everything, she has recommendations for spells, she has videos on raising energy, she has guided meditations, great, great content, um, and she, she like gives off just like these really, uh, powerful vibes, like, she's got a lot of energy going on, and she's very open about her experiences, um, as are most people who are on YouTube, I suppose, but yeah, Lady Leanna. Next would be also somebody that I, that I started watching, um, like around the same time that I started watching Lady Leanna, and that is Mother Willow Moon of Family Wicca. Now, Family Wicca is the channel, and they don't post regularly at all. When they do post, though, I'm like completely engaged, and I'm like, please keep making videos, but it's not that easy. Um, Yes, so Mother Willow Moon, oh my god, she's such, she's such an angel. <laughs> Every time I watch one of her videos, even if I'm watching it back, like, cause, like I said, they don't upload videos for long periods of time. I think it's like a year and a day cycle thing that they do, um, but she has a college course online, I believe, called Family Wicca, I think. Um, go check out that channel regardless, cause... It has tons of information. It's just really cool. She has very cool opportunities. She's very educational. It's why she has an online college. Um, just really great. Um, good vibes. Good times. Even when she's talking about sad topics, there's always like a smile on her face. Next is somebody that I subscribe to at the same time that I subscribed to the previous two, but I didn't start watching his videos until last year, two years ago, um, and that would be Eric Silverman. His channel is currently, it's a lot of his artwork, which I appreciate. It's a lot of um, conversations between himself and um, his deity, which is also the more, yeah, he's just quality content producer, um, really, really nice seeming person, um, very open about what's going on in his life, very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't quite put my finger on the word, but great personality, um, 
I'm always intrigued to watch his videos, especially his art videos, which I know I said that already, but oh my goodness. I wish I was that good at painting because my art is all like colored pencils and I do use a little bit of watercolor but like I don't do it to the extent that he does it and it makes it's so good. It's so good. 10 out of 10. Go check out Eric Silvermoon. Just wonderful, wonderful energy. Next we have Annika or the Sea Priestess. I only recently really subscribed to her, but I have been watching and looking through all her videos, and she's a pretty interesting chick. She has a very um, eclectic and progressive viewpoints on things, um, which I, I appreciate completely. Um, she offers new perspectives every single time she uploads a video, like it's not just all the same topic as you might get with some other people. Really, 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 really enjoy her content. She's been on YouTube for a pretty long time as well. I remember seeing her channel name like right when I got on YouTube. Um, her and Tiptoe Chick are like the first names that I ever saw. But um, I didn't subscribe to her till recently and I'm very glad that I did subscribe because her content is um, very versatile and very... it's good. It's good. Next on my list we have the Greek Witch. This is a fellow new YouTuber, um, or at least I think she's new. I don't know. But um, yeah, Greek Witch. I believe they're new to YouTube and so am I. And her, their introduction video was very positive and upbeat and I really enjoyed watching it because I'm now looking forward to seeing their content on the internet. So, excuse me, so definitely go check out the Greek Witch. I'm very excited to see what they bring to the table. Next on my list is the very popular, the very happy, the very kick-ass Joanna DeVoe. Um, I absolutely love Joanna DeVoe's videos. Now, at, I will admit, at first, when I first watched her, it wasn't on her channel, it was on Eric Silvermoon's channel and they were doing a live chat um, with Kellyanne and... shit. Somebody else. I think it was Laura Dalekin, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, maybe it was Joey. I don't know. Anyways. Joanna Devo. I, when I first um, saw her videos, I don't know why, but I was very like, oh good, oh, oh no. Um, her personality at first, it, it's a lot because she's so kick-ass. Um, she's very passionate when she starts talking. Um, if you watch her live chats with Arwen or Joey or Eric Silvermoon or just her videos in general, now I'm like, I cannot believe I ever thought that about this woman. She's so great. Her videos are very empowering and very, um, also very progressive. She's just, I think she's great. I'm not sure what her services are. I believe she does tarot, but I... <sighs> Next is Witch in the Burbs. Now, I had no idea that Witch in the Burbs had a YouTube channel until he did a video with, I believe it was Arwen Lynch? Tarot by Arwen? I think that was when I found out he had a YouTube channel, but I had heard of his like writing first, and... I was completely enthralled when I read it, I was super engaged, I found it very entertaining and very um, educational. Even if I didn't agree with some of the viewpoints, I mean, you learn something new every day. So I was, that's the kind of content that he puts forward. He puts forward his viewpoints, he encourages discussion, it's, it's really great. Next is Amy, Ra Amy Ravenson. Now she is another channel that I found through Arwen. Arwen's like a gateway drug. She has, she talks to everyone as the Barbara Walters, Walters wannabe. So she just, she's the reason I know a lot of the people, people's channels. But um, Amy Ravenson, she's a tarot reader mainly, I believe. I believe that's like the main focus of her channel. But she also has content on Esbits. She has content on Sabbath. She has content on. Ooh, I think she has a new channel now called Mystic Musings. I'm not quite sure, but um, if you type in Ra Amy Ravenson, the newest video on her um, channel should be about her new channel, so definitely go check that out. But um, 
Yes, Amy Ravenson. I absolutely adore her content. She's like the cutest woman I've ever seen in my life. She's like, uh, I just want to like hug her. <laughs> Next we have someone that I started watching back when she was known as the Shoe Whisperer, like first, um, and that is Mandy C. She's had so many different channels and she's gone through so many different phases on her path. It's fantastic, spectacular even, to just watch the transitions that this woman goes through. Um, she has a book out that I mentioned in my um, book recommendations. She has a coven right now that I also mentioned in my 17 Witchy Questions video. Um, her channel is so diverse and so full of everything. Mandy C is like really on top of it. She knows what she's doing. Definitely Mandy C is like, wow, out of this world. Wow, did that just get blurry or was that just my eyes? Um, truly fantastic content. I love watching her videos. I love it. I've been watching her also from the beginning of my watching career, <laughs> my journey watching people. Um, but yeah, she's definitely really, really great, and I definitely recommend you go check out Mandy C, and that's Mandy with an I. Next on my list is someone who, um, is on and off with uploading, there's no, like, regular schedule, which I completely understand, that is fine, honestly, I don't really have a regular schedule either, it just kind of happens, but this woman, oh my goodness, she had, every time I watch her videos, I get this heat coming off of her, and this, like, raw energy and she's the red witch if you know what I'm talking about you know who I'm talking about it's Laura Daligan she offers a variety of services a variety of retreats a variety of like uh, she's, she's got everything she's got vlogs she's got YouTube channel she's got Instagram she's got Facebook she's Go look at her Facebook, guys, it's really great. Oh my god, and her art, too, if you look at that on Etsy. I know a lot of these people are artists, and I'm not going to mention the art from everyone, simply because I it probably just slips my mind, but holy hell, I want one of Laura Dalligan's art pieces so bad looking. I want one of her drums, maybe? I don't know. Her channel is very shamanic, it's very fairy, it's very Morgan-esque, it's very... It's, it's got everything. Everything you could ever want is on that channel. Go check out Laura Dalligan. Go do it. Off with you. After this video, of course, because there will be many other names that I tell you to do the same thing with. Next we have the previously mentioned, much love, um, gateway drug, Arwen Lynch. She's the professional joy seeker, professional tarot reader, Barbara Walters wannabe, and recently published author. Congratulations on your book, Arwen. You're probably not watching this, but congratulations. Um, oh my god, what a busy woman. What a busy woman. She does, if you are not familiar with the channel, what are you doing? She is like the YouTuber, at least in my brain right now. Um, she does weekly tarot scopes, if you're interested in that. It's like a horoscope, but with tarot. Fantastic. Um, she offers a variety of contests. She interviews everybody on YouTube, and I personally... I kind of want to schedule an interview, but at the same time I'm kind of nervous because I would fuck up every single question and then I watch it back and I'd be like, ah, I'm not good at interviews. But, um, she's, I also don't know, because I'm a minor and I don't know if there's like a policy against that, but I definitely want to get a reading from her so badly because her readings, what? I, I, I get so excited thinking about Miss Arwen because she is just a ray of sunshine. She's... Oh my god, I, ha I have no words. I'm speechless. My ex that talks forever. I have no words. Um, but yeah, she's a Pisces sun and holy hell, what a Pisces. Um, she's Her content is so great on her channel. Next is another witch from Down Under, um, Crimson Fire. I mentioned her earlier. Her channel, oh my goodness. Same thing with her. When I watch her videos, I get this heat just radiating off the screen. I'm like, please. Please, I need to turn on the volume or something or the brightness, like it's too much. Um, but it's not too much, it's just the right amount. Her videos are so interesting to me. She's very crafty. Um, she does a lot of live chats. She, she, her and Alvine go on trips in Australia, and I believe it's all in Australia. 
Um, but they go on like nature hikes and they go collecting things and it's very interesting to watch. She also has videos on like the Morrigan and Kali and I think she's she works primarily with dark goddesses. Dark goddesses, if I'm not mistaken. But um I love her wigs. And that's all I have to say. Next on my list is Miss Alora Rain. Now, she recently just came back from the dead. Um, I didn't watch her channel originally before she came back, but I know everyone is freaking out that she is back, and I can see why. She is... she's funny, she's passionate, she knows what she's talking about when she's talking, and she knows how to contribute to a discussion in a way that keeps it interesting and keeps it moving while at the same time discussing the topic at hand, if that makes sense. Um, cause not everybody can do that, and she does a pretty good job of that. She's also really, really pretty. I- all of these people are beautiful people. Let me just say that right now. Every single person I mention, beautiful soul, beautiful face, beautiful people. Oh my goodness. I- I get jealous watching people's videos sometimes. I'm like, how can you look so pretty? Yeah, Alora Rain. Sidetrack, sorry. She recently just came back, her videos are uploading uh, slowly but surely, and she- her content is really quality. Her intro is like really intense to all her videos, and I- I get like real- my vibrations raise a lot from her intro, and then like the video's like, Hey guys, it's nice to see you again, and I'm like, oh, alright, I need to calm down again. Which, I need to calm down right now. I'm getting too excited. Tea break. Next is the original OG YouTube witch, Tiptoe Chick. I just watched her um, interview with Arwen, and she said that there weren't really people around when she was starting, so I- and I honestly believe that. I think she probably was one of the first uh, YouTube witches back in like 2005, 2006. But when you type in Wicca Witchcraft, whatever, on your search bar, Tiptoe Chick is literally the first name that pops up every single time. When I would search it up, back in my days, um, first name every single time, and she's very hippie woman, very- she's, um, an herbologist, she's very real, she keeps it 100 the whole time. She tells you like it is, sometimes her videos just go off the walls, and she is a mom so she does not upload regularly at all, but that is totally fine, and when she does upload, I get very excited. So, um, tiptoe chick, everybody knows who you are already, girl. If you're not subscribed to her, go. At the end of this video, go subscribe. Follow these people, go subscribe to them. Next we have the Lady Grave Dancer. Oh my god. <laughs> her videos were also one of the first videos that I can remember watching, and I remember I would I went on like a rampage of just binge watching all of her videos at one point. Um, she's such an interesting woman, and I love when she does her videos with her family. I think that's very interesting when people do that. She's a very interesting channel, very informational. She seems like the kind of person, all these people do really, but she seems like the kind of person that would just help. <laughs> if you had an issue, she just helps. She's also got really nice eyebrows, and I'm super jealous of those. Um, well, they're nice in my opinion. Next we have Ravenflower. Obviously, if you watch my channel, you know I love Raven Flowers' video. I found her through one of the Lady Grave Dancers live chats with Raven Flower and Sunshine Morning Ray, and I'm so happy I did. Ra Raven Flower is literally just the sunshiniest YouTuber I have ever watched in my life. She is all happy, all bubbles. Even when she's doing a sad video, I just get like loads of positivity just bouncing off her. Um, and that might be a facade, I don't know. But she just she makes me happy when I watch her. Like she oh she's very creative. She always is creating new content that I've never seen before from anybody and she's just very entertaining to watch. So I'm sending you all my healing love and light girl. I hope you get I hope you get better soon. Next is someone I just mentioned, Sunshine Morning Ray. She also does not upload regularly, but her videos, when she does upload, are very entertaining and I very informational. Um, she has like herbs 101 on her channel, and um, that was actually how I got into watching her. Really, um, her video on mugwort specifically, but because um, mugwort is my favorite herb, but um, she is very sassy, very southern. She'll tell you like it is. Um, 
and she knows what she's doing, so definitely go check out Sunshine Morning Ring. I've had a lot of cat themes. Next we have Her Speak Planet, the unicorn queen herself, Molly Roberts. She is a musician, she is an artist, she is a painter, she is a witch. Holy shit, Molly Roberts. Oh my god. She is another person who keeps it very real, but is also very light and bubbly all the time. Not all the time, but you know what I mean. She, um, her videos, when I first watched her, I was immediately reeled in. I was like, this woman is so philosophical and her voice, oh my god. I could die listening to her voice. I could die. And I would die happy just hearing her talk. Um, I love her poetry, I love her artwork, I love everything she does, honestly. If you haven't checked out her channel, I don't know what you're doing because you need that in your life. You, Everyone needs Molly Roberts in their life. She's so much good, so much good. And I'm not even speaking proper English, but when am I? So much good. <laughs> Next we have the wonderful previously mentioned death midwife Chris Ashburn. Holy hell, Chris Ashburn, I am so grateful to her because she is one of the reasons, the, in fact, she is the main reason that I started um, doing YouTube videos. Um, she also has a series of live chats and interviews, especially with Joey, um, shit, what are they called? Uh, Beyond the Boundaries, that's what they're um, She's very open about her practice, she works with Hell, the Norse deity of the underworld, Oh my goodness. Hearing Chris and Joey both talk at the same time is like, I get starstruck every single time I watch a video and when they respond to me in the live chat, I get like butterflies in my stomach. Like, I also really want a reading with Chris Ashburn, but I'm poor as fuck, so I cannot currently afford that. Work has been rather slow. But, um, yeah, Chris Ashburn, she offers a multitude of services, she offers mentorship, which is not something you see very often. So if you are questioning and you're looking on that, definitely invest some money in Chris Ashburn because her mentorship program, I've heard from people who have taken it, it's so fantastic. And I believe it because Chris Ashburn is fantastic. She is one of my favorite YouTubers. She, I watch all of her videos. I went back and I watched all the videos she has on her channel. Great personality, great YouTuber, great views, and she's she openly like all these people do, but she openly admits that she's learning constantly, which I completely appreciate that. If you saw my last video, but um, definitely go look at Chris Ashley. Now we have Renee Yin. Renee Yin is adorable. She is. I believe she's more shamanic than witchy, but she's still definitely definitely witchy to me. She has more of an eastern view than a western view, which I fucking love that. Pardon my French, I fucking love that. She I believe is Korean. Oh my god, I'm gonna sound awful if that's wrong. But um her videos are like I said from more eastern Tao or Dao, um perspective, and I think that's very interesting because most of the YouTubers on YouTube who do witchy videos and are in this witchcraft community do the western perspective, so it's I think it's incredibly um, enriching to watch someone from the eastern perspective because when I first, 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 first started at 10 years old, I was more interested in the eastern perspective than the western perspective, but then the west came knocking at my door and broke it down. So, um, yeah, I think I think it's very interesting to see how she does things and the reasons she does things. Please excuse the markings on my hands. Um, very, very, very interesting YouTube channel. Definitely would recommend checking her out. She works in, I think, education or something to do with children, and I think that's wonderful. Next on my channel, we have Simplistic Witch. Their channel is all, like, it's great. It's DIYs, it's tags, it's informational. It's really great. I love watching Simplistic Witches videos. Um, it's a channel that I was recently um, introduced to during a live chat. It wasn't like an interview, but like I, they were in the chat, so I was like, oh, I wonder whose channel this is, and I went ahead and subscribed, and I'm glad I did. 
So definitely go check out Simplistic Witch, their videos are really great, and I encourage their content completely. So we have Snow Orchid. I also found this person through a live chat, um, just scrolling through, and oh my god, they are so aesthetic. <laughs> like, their videos make me feel bad about my entire life. Like, if I could put, like, Tumblr witches in a YouTube channel, it would be Snow Orchid. Um, I believe they're going on like a journey, a new journey with their channel, but I really, really, really enjoy Snow Orchid's videos and I'm very excited to see what they come up with next. Okay, I have to give so much love for this next one and I hope you're watching, girl, because you make my day every day and I hope you're having a wonderful summer with your kids. I'm talking about Random Witch, that blue-haired angel or devil, depending on how you want to look at her. But she, oh my god, random, random witch, girl, 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 you make, you make me smile, you make me smile. She's so fantastic. If you are not subscribed to Random Witch's channel, she's great. She recently just started doing readings. Um, she has like, shit, what's it called? It's not Patreon, it's not GoFundMe. She has a something that, um, I did. she has a Patreon too, I think, but, um, you should definitely go check that out. She has guided meditations. She has rants. Girl, you need to rant more, in my opinion. I love watching it. It's very... I think it's very interesting when people show their raw emotion and their actual feelings on a subject. Rather... I, I also think it's very interesting when there's the, that calm debate aspect where it's just stating your opinion, listening to other people's opinions, and then retorting it calmly. But watching her recent rant video on uh, Binding Oh my god, I was, I was pleased, I was pleasantly surprised, to be perfectly honest, and honestly, I really, really enjoy watching raw emotion on camera, um, that's the same reason I love watching Joey, she has videos of her crying, like, it's, it's that raw, actual feeling, and it helps you connect with the creator, um, better, for lack of a better word, better. Check out Random Witch, her channel is... It's so, like, like so many others, it's very diverse, it's very progressive, it's very, um, it's good. There's no other word to describe it. If you want to break it down to the plain and simple, it is good, it is spectacular, it is magnificent. Random, I appreciate you so much. <laughs> and I keep, like, having to burp. I think it's all the caffeine I'm consuming. Let's have some more. Next, we have the extremely badass, um, Roller Derby Witch. Hello, roller derby witch, roller derby. That shit is intense. That shit is the cur everyday battle, that sports battle. Um, roller derby witch is super cool. Her videos are very, um, from what I can tell, and this is a total compliment in my perspective. Um, they're very impromptu and uh, very informational. So like, they seem to be filmed like on the spot. But she has so much going in her brain that the fact that she can just like put it out there and articulate that in a way that makes sense and seems logical and is good, like, I can't do that. I have to thoroughly plan out a video before I start doing it, except this one. I didn't do that, but I also, like I said, had a lot of caffeine before it, so that might be contributing to the madness that is ensuing. But. Digress. Roller Derby Witch is super fantastic. I love watching her videos. I believe she did an interview with somebody. She was on a live chat with somebody and I watched it and that was how I found her and holy hell. I think it was Ravenflower's 24 hour uh, witchy chat. But uh, quality videos. Next on my list is Noah Tempasari. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I don't know how to spell it, but I think I know how to say it. Noah Tempasari was Raven Flowers' guest host on um, the 24 Hour Witchy Chat, and um, I had never heard of his channel before, but he seems like the most lovable fucking person on the planet. I believe he's a Taurus son, and holy shit, his videos, they're really good. Like. He knows what he's talking about. He knows exactly what he's talking about when he's talking about it. Um, which I am envious of. And he... 
I was scrolling through those videos. Oh my god, my dog's barking. Excuse her. Um, I was scrolling through those videos and just watching every single one of them, there's a, there's a level of professionalism in them. Which, of course, there's a level of professional, there's a level of professionalism in all of these people's videos, but his really, really stands out to me. Like, um, I can't think of a specific video, but d definitely go check out Noah Tempisari's channel. Um, very good content, 10 out of 10 quality, would recommend. Next on my list we have Avalon Spiritual Odyssey. Avalon is another person that I was introduced to on the 24-hour chats, and I'm very, very glad that this Australian beauty was on that chat. <laughs> um, her videos are so, so good. Like, watching her on Alora's channel and then watching her on her own channel. She keeps it real, she keeps it classy, her, she offers readings as well. I believe she has an online store, I'm not sure. But definitely go check out Avalon Spiritual Odyssey on YouTube. She's got a very good variety to choose from on her videos and just all around good channel. Next we have a, a YouTuber that um, I think their YouTube channel is Drawing Kenaz but their uh, witchy name is Thorn the Witch and I love their videos so much because their perspective is traditional witchcraft. Um, traditional Wiccan witchcraft at some points, and watching that perspective, it's very matter-of-fact, it's very based on the books, it's very literary, um, liter literal, whatever, in the English language is completely leaving me at the moment, I might as well just speak in Spanish, because I can't, I won't, though. I was looking up topics, and out of all the channels that I watched on it, she was very realistic, she was very, like, this is how it is for me, and gotta be this way for you, but this is how I'm stating my opinion. You don't gotta agree with it, but I don't keep saying it. Um, except, obviously, with better grammar and a more verbose. Next we have the infamous, the adorable, the blunt banged, Kellyanne Maddox. I love Kellyanne's videos. If you are on YouTube at all, you've probably heard her name at least once or twice. Now is the time, if you have not already, to go and subscribe to her channel. I'm telling you, 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 now, go. Um, Kellyanne is somebody that I found through Eric Silvermoon's channel on that live chat with Joanna DeVoe and party number four, Laura Dalligan. I'm pretty sure it was Laura Dalligan. Her videos are very... I don't know how to describe them. They're professional, but for the vibe that I get from them is edgy. I'm not sure if that's the right word. It's definitely not the right word, but it's the word that is coming to my brain right now and I'm saying it, so. Next on my list is the wonderful, the fiery, the passionate, the um, vocal, Charlie Says Go. Uh, her, I believe she uploads at least two videos a month on the full moon or espet and she does a live chat with Chris Ashburn and uh, usually another guest. Um, I love Charlie Says Go's videos. She's so, she keeps it real with you 100%. There are, of course, those things that she keeps completely private and that is perfectly fine, that is a-okay. I think we all have that complete private element in our lives that we do not share with our YouTube channel, but her content is, um, I read, I originally watched, her, found her channel when I was looking for things on shadow work, which I feel she is very, very experienced in. Um, I love watching her talk about shadow work, I love watching her videos in general. Charlie says go, you go girl. Next is Jenna from the, uh, Jenna from the White Witch Parlor. Um, now. When I first came across this channel, I was very, very hesitant because I just saw the name and I have sort of a thing against the term White Witch, but oh my god, her channel is fantastic. I believe she has an online store as well. Um, I, her videos are very well put together, very aesthetic, very professional, and very informative, and she also has that vibe that comes across as very positive. Um, no matter what topic she's discussing, and 
I don't think I've seen a video from her in a couple of months, but whenever she comes back, I'm, I'm gonna be very excited. Um, I love Jenna from the White Witch Parlor. She's got really great content, and I recommend her to a bunch of people when they ask me, like, oh, what YouTube channel should I be watching? Obviously, there's a long list to recommend, but she's definitely one of the first names that I say out of my mouth. Next on the list is the one, the only, the insanely popular Ember Honey Raven. Um, wow, I do not have a lot of space left on my camera, so I need to hurry this up. Ember Honey Raven took a long break. Glad she's back. She's absolutely fantastic, sassy southern. I believe she's located in Arkansas right now, which is where I'm from. Really great channel, really great content. Go check out Ember Honey Raven. Those are all the channels that I have on my list for right now. There are so many more that I watch, but I again, I'm not familiar enough with their channel to make an accurate um, description of their content and of what I get from their personality and their vibes. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really like it when people talk about other people in good ways. That's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to boost the ego of others. Because <laughs> um, I think all of these people, and even the people that I didn't mention, deserve a lot of respect and a lot of thanks and a lot of good stuff. I'm going to shut up now. Thank you so much for watching, and blessed be.